Hello, my name is Chris Kobaleski and I'm a consultant neurologist and specialist in movement disorders at Manchester Centre for Clinical Neurosciences in Salford. Cervical dystonia is the most common form of focal dystonia and it's treated by botulinum toxin injection to overactive muscles. Effective treatment with botulinum toxin injections requires careful assessment as to which muscles are active, but injections without some form of guidance are not always fully accurate. Ultrasound uses high frequency sound waves to build up a non-invasive picture of different structures in the body. Ultrasound has already been used to look at muscles and is already used in some centres to guide treatment with uh, botulinum toxin in cervical dystonia. However, use of ultrasound requires training and is dependent on the person using it. Development of an automatic process to show neck muscles on ultrasound could help to improve treatment of people with cervical dystonia. Our original research, funded by Dystonia UK, aimed to show that we could train a computer programme to identify neck muscles from an ultrasound scan automatically. We also wanted to see if there were differences in neck muscle shape compared to healthy volunteers without dystonia. We recruited 35 people with cervical dystonia from our specialist clinics at Manchester Centre for Clinical Neurosciences and 26 healthy volunteers. We examined them to work out the severity of their dystonia and all participants had an ultrasound and magnetic resonance scan of the neck muscles. Using the scan information, we trained a computer program to recognise the edges of the neck muscles and other structures in the neck. The computer was able to automatically show the individual neck muscles once it had been trained to do so and was accurate at, at identifying neck muscles as the study team members who had marked the images. The computer could predict where an injection could be given into each muscle with over 90% accuracy. Automatic labelling of neck muscles by the computer can be done in real time while an ultrasound scan is being done. We found changes in the size and shape of neck muscles in people with cervical dystonia, which were different to healthy volunteers without dystonia. The next stage of our work is to translate this proof of concept into a tool that works robustly to show muscle boundaries on scans collected from patients with cervical dystonia in the dystonia clinic. Scaling up to this standard requires a larger sample of patients and images, but uses the same principles we already developed in our original work. Once developed, this tool will enable several benefits to patients. Firstly, the real-time illustration of muscle boundaries will give clinicians the confidence and expert guidance to inject muscles, particularly deeper muscles, closer to the spine. Secondly, the objective recording of precisely where the toxin was delivered will provide historical records that by comparison with previous results will enable clinicians to improve their targeting of muscles and delivery of injections for individual patients and their overall patient population. Thirdly, objective recording of changes in muscle shape between clinics will enable clinicians to track changes in neck muscles following injections and may uh, form a new way of monitoring treatment with cervical dystonia. We're going to apply for more funding to do this next study, which will involve collecting ultrasound scans from larger numbers of patients with cervical dystonia in the clinic before and after they receive botulinum toxin injections. This study has the potential to allow doctors treating cervical dystonia to view neck muscles in real time and identify the correct muscles to treat using cervical botulinum toxin. We believe that developing such a tool has the potential to improve the lives of people living with cervical dystonia. Thank you.